Hi everyone and welcome. Boy, is it great having you here. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm doing a video uh, on saving some money shipping. Now I've done a video before on some of the ways of uh, saving by going to different types of shipping sites and that sort of thing. But this is more about packaging and how to reduce waste, how to be more eco-friendly, and also how to save yourself some money. And I can't think of much that's better than all of that, right? Generally, when we try to save the environment, we end up spending a lot more money. And so I want to show you how you can save money while having a little bit less impact on the environment. So what I've got here is just one of my typical orders here. Uh, I've got uh, seven bars of soap. I've got a couple of salves and creams, a bottle of my bug spray, some lip balm, just sort of a sample of the kind of things that I normally would ship. I've already weighed this. This weighs in at three pounds, nine ounces. So to ship something like this, there are different ways you can go. Now, first of all, you can have your own box that you put together and ship your items in like so. And I'm going to show you also on the screen a video of where I went to a site and got the rates on all of these. But to ship it in my own box like this is going to cost me uh, about $9. If I just ship it in my own box, priority mail, $9. So what are the options to try to cut back on that cost? Well, we're not going to get rid of this yet. And then, by the way, this is a box that I made out of a, an old Prime uh, Amazon box. I made it this size. And we're going to come back to that in a moment. So, what's another option? Well, padded envelopes. And that's how I used to ship all of my soaps, was in padded envelopes. And I can certainly get all of this in there. I can get it crammed in there and not have a problem shipping it. There is a problem with that, though. First of all, it's plastic. It's got built-in bubble wrap and it's plastic, which is great for protecting things. But think about this. It is plastic, but also our soaps are loose in here. This is going to get banged. I've had it happen where soaps get dense in them and, you know, from hitting the corner of the truck or they just throw these in, they get banged up. So I got to thinking about plastic, protecting my items, so and saving money. Well, another option, of course, um, is these paper envelopes. Uh, but they don't hold hardly anything. Um, before, you're full and you can't get it closed. Okay? So, not really an option. At least, at the moment it is. So, again, we're going to put this aside, too, and come back to it. So another option, oops, excuse me for the noise, another option are these regional boxes. And they have these uh, in both a, a long box like this and also a square box. They're the same volume, but just a different shape. And this would work. This would hold everything in here, well supported, actually have some room to spare. But this again, over $9. So how do we save money here? Oh, actually this over $10, excuse me. So, how is it that we can save money while using this and this? Let me show you. So, I'm just going to move these over here out of the way for just a moment. So, here we have this envelope. This is just the Priority Mail Flat Rate Envelope. The cost of this, $7.15. But as I showed you, you can't put very much in there. But there is a way to modify this without actually modifying it. What do I mean by that? Well, with a little origami, we don't have to make any cuts in this. We don't have to make any changes to it. And that's acceptable by the post office. So we take our box and line it up along the bottom like so, and kind of find the midway point of our box, okay? So let's say the midway point is right here. 
So, there's no science to this, but I'm just going to make a fold, like so. Where's my letter? Hold on a moment here. I've got this, this is just my letter opener, but something flat. So we want to smooth out that seam there. And I'm going to make a suggestion. I'm not the first person to come up with the idea of reusing these in a different way, but I'm going to give you a way that looks prettier than what I've seen some others do. Once you've made that crease, turn it over to the other side and do it again. And what I'm doing is I'm just doing this. I'm just going along, making sure it's a good, sharp, fold. Now, we're going to open this up and we're going to press down in the bottom a bit. And all we're doing is creating a square box. And all I'm doing, look what I'm doing, I'm just pressing down on the bottom till it's flat and then pushing in the sides until we've got these flaps. We're going to take our box and press it down inside, like so. And now we're just going to do some more creasing along the edges, like so. Very important to get these nice sharp edges. I believe, for it to look its best. Okay, so now I'm going to pull this out and we're going to fill it up. Then I'm going to show you how this is going to work. there and that goes in and our lip balm and our other little salve here. Now let me get my tape. Oop, I forgot my tape gun. One moment. <laughs> All right. Okay. There we go. our tape and make sure to press it very tight because it has to overlap there where the package is closed. Then you can come in like so. Just take a little piece of tape and just tape down your flaps here like so. You've now taken what would have been a nine or $10 package and reduced it down to a $7 package. It's in a cardboard box where your items are protected. So we don't need the bubble wrap envelope here. Uh, we are reducing plastic and we are getting it safely and neatly to our customer while following post office guidelines. And I think doing something really good for the world. Let me know your thoughts on this. Um, maybe you're already doing something similar. That's great. Uh, but I just wanted to share this with you. And this isn't just for soapers, anybody shipping anything. Um, if you can fit it in something like this, save yourself some money and do a little good for the environment by reducing waste and one use plastic. Because I will tell you that people generally throw these away once they've cut into them 
they don't reuse them. Now we as shippers, we uh, we do, I do, I will, if I get a used one of these oftentimes, I will turn them wrong side out, I'll cut the edges, and I use it to wrap things with like any bubble wrap. Um, but I know that a lot of folks, especially our customers, don't do that. They may not even ship items, they would have no reason to keep it. So it just goes into the trash. Uh, and we don't want to do that. So just a tip for you. I hope you enjoyed this, everyone. I look forward to seeing you again soon. Have a terrific day. Goodbye.